Here's how we evaluate products to see if they are good potential buys for us to send into Amazon. Here's one of the sites it's called Castle Toys and this is just one of their uh, product pages, the preschool section and here's kind of laid out the same way as the screenshot for the other company that had the mugs, it's in the ebook. So you got your uh, title um, with pictures, you got your price, it's $13 each, uh, minimum order quantity is six, this is the item number that Castle Toys gives this marble run toy. Then you have a UPC code. So all you do is just copy the UPC code and then go to Amazon and paste it in. And make sure that the picture here matches the picture over here. Obviously this one has a little girl with it, but it looks like the same toy. So click on it. And first want to see if it has a good sales rank. And the sales rank is usually in the middle of the product detail page. Here it says 85,000 in toys and games. Now I know from checking earlier that the toy section has about 2.8 million items in it. So if you do the math, take 85,007 divided by 2,775,998 gives you 0.0306. So that item is in the top 3% of the toys and games category. So that would be a good one for me. And you can refer to my ebook, and it shows you how to do the math for that calculation, how to find the number of category, how to find the number of items in each category. So for this one, top 3% would be good. I like to stay within 5%. So now that we know that it's a good sales rank, we need to know if we can make any money on it. Um, the price here is $19.20. Now there's other sellers selling it for a little bit more, but I usually use this lowest price just to be safe unless it's just really low and it looks like they only have one left. But we'll use $19.20 for an example. And then we see that the price is $13. Now I already know that that's not going to be a good one. Um, and just because I know that Amazon's going to take 15% of the $19.20, then I'm going to have to subtract um, all their other fees associated plus um, shipping it into them. So I know this is not going to be good, but what I would do if I was, if it, if it looked like it was going to be a good one, I would just take the 1920 times 0.85 because Amazon gets 15% commission and then another 250 and I can tell you where I get the 250 figure. It's actually in the book. Um, it's basically a dollar for the pick, a uh, dollar to pack it, and then 50 cents is usually about what the weight base fee is for us. Now obviously it varies on how big the item is and how much it weighs, but we use 250. So then you'd be left with 1382 and you might minus $13 from that, you'd be making a profit of 82 cents. Now actually you probably wouldn't make any money on that one because that 250 doesn't include the shipping to get it into Amazon. So this would not be a good one for me. So we just go on to the next one and just uh, do the UPC code there, paste it in, and we look at um, the sales rank, 319,000 in toys and games, I can already tell that that is not in the top 5%, so for me that would not be a good one. I have a sales rank sheet, a chart that has um, just an easy, quick, uh, something I can just easily look at, and it tells me what's the 5% in each category, so I don't have to do the calculations every single time. So then um, I would just go on to the next one. Now I've already checked this one out in advance. I know that this big tape measure is a good one, so I'll show you what we do when it's a good one. I paste it into Amazon. Okay, click on it and see that it has a sales rank of 126,390 in toys and games. The t to be in the top 5% in toys and games, you need to be right about 139,000. So this would be good. Now, we know that it's um, a good sales rank, so let's see if we can make some money on it. It's $14.69 on the site. We can buy them for $5 each. So um, if you just take $14.69 times 0 0.85 minus 250, you're left with 998 minus 5, 498 profit, then you got plus whatever it costs you to ship it into Amazon, but that's very cheap. So basically, you can almost double your money on this one, which is very good. Um, and I also have a spreadsheet I use that you could use for this one, 14, 69, wholesale price $5, it gives you right here, and I'll include this spreadsheet, um, a link to download it in the ebook. So that is how we evaluate products to, to figure out if they're a good buy to send in Amazon.